Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammad Ali Sher. So let's continue our work on the header file. So after this PHP codes, we will open up a li tag and uh, so now we will open inside this li tag we will open up a herf i mean a link to the profile.php and then we will type we will open up a php tag and i think we will echo the u underscore id and this will be equals to the dollar user underscore id variable and we need to remove this double quotes okay and from here also so now uh, over here we will open up a php tags and then uh, we will type echo and uh, we will echo the first underscore name okay this first underscore name variable and then close that echo so this is it for this profile and now we will open up another li tag and inside this li tag we will create a link and uh, that link will be equals to the I think the home dot php file so we'll create home dot php and over here we will type home and after the home we will just copy this and paste it down below and we will change this to the find people and then for the messages i think oh so we didn't close that attack so we will type a and here also and over here so we will change this to messages and this one to messages.php and then u underscore id will be equals to new so if the user click on the messages.php in the url the u underscore id will be equals to new because the user didn't select a user at that time so the php closes closed over there so we will open up another php tag and uh, inside this php tag we will type echo not capital echo a small one okay that's good so now inside this echo tag we will what is just happening okay so we will open up a li tag and uh, this li and this li tag will have a class and class will be equals to uh, drop down okay and uh, we will add some space so now we will open up a herf tag and uh, a herf will be equals to hash and then class will be it's double s why every time i just add a single s so class will be equals to drop down hyphen toggle data hyphen toggle will be equals to 
I think drop down and roll will be equals to button and area hyphen hash pop up will be equals to true and then area hyphen expanded will be equals to false and now we will just add a span tag so for that we will type span and then a closing span tag and over here we will just type nothing and we will close the air tag and this span tag will have a class class will be I think equals to uh, icon so class is equals to glyhook like icon chaperon down it will add a down arrow so if the user click on it then uh, we will show them some options so that options will be so we will create an ul and then we will create this unordered list close that unordered list and this unordered list will have a class and it will be drop down menu and then we will open up a li and then we will close that li so inside the li tag we will create a link a herf and it will be equals to my underscore post dot php we will create this in the upcoming video so don't worry guys and uh, u underscore id will be equals to the dollar user underscore id variable and then we will close this and we will type my posts and then we will add a span tag and uh, inside this span tag uh, we will uh, type the posts uh, variable and then this span tag will have a class class will be equals to the page badge hyphen secondary so it will echo out some badge and in that page it will show the number of latest posts of that user and then we will close the air tag and then we will open up another li tag and uh, in this li tag we will echo the edit my account option so we will open up a herf why i did so many typing mistakes so edit underscore profile dot php and then u underscore id will be equals to the dollar user underscore id We will type edit my account or just edit account I think edit account is good now we will add a separator so for that we will create a li 
and this li role will be equals to separator and uh, class will be equals to divider so this will add a small line and after the separator we will echo the logout button so that's why I just add a separator to separate this logout button from the other two options so it will be equals to logout.php and we will close that and open up our air tag and then we will type logout so guys we are just nearly done so now we will open up a ul tag after this closing tag of the ul okay and this ul will have a class class will be equals to nav and then nav bar my hyphen nav and then nav bar and then write so now we will add a search input type or a button so the user can search for their posts and then we will add an li tag and inside this li tag will have a class and it will be drop down and inside this li tags we will create a forum and uh, the forum class will be equals to navbar form and then navbar left and uh, method will be get and action will be on the results.php we will create this results.php in the upcoming videos as i can i told you for too many times so don't worry guys and then we will open up another div and this div will have a class class will be equals to form and then group and uh, an input type and type will be text name will be user underscore query and placeholder will be search and uh, I will add a class and the class will be form hyphen control and after this closing div we will create a button so this button type will be submit class will be equals to btn btn minus hyphen info and uh, its name will be equals to search and over here we will type search so guys we are done so this uh, header file will give out some errors okay because we didn't create all of these pages the results and the logout and the edit underscore profile my post once we create all of these uh, files then it will work perfectly so and we didn't start a session on this header.php because we will start a session on the other page the edit underscore profile my post and the logout and not on the logout yes on the logout as well so guys let's uh, just allow me to show you this header.php file so if you go to the social network folder and then the includes and then the header.php file so here is all of the errors so as i say you we didn't create all of these files 
okay so once we create all of that files then it will work perfectly so don't worry guys i am here i will show you how will we will fix that errors all of that errors so don't worry and uh, in the upcoming videos we will create all of that files but in the next video we will create the profile file for the user to see all of his information and post and we will allow the user to update his profile and discover picture so i think this is it for this video so don't worry guys okay we will create all of that files and fix that errors so this is it for this video and as i say we will create a profile.php file in the next video and subscribe our channel coding cafe and don't forget to press the bell icon